his chest and brains up. Does he know I notice? Does he want some? Call my homie being sus, don't get caught. Tell his girl we're just chilling while I taste him. Call my homie being Oh she is ready for pride. She is. I was feeling my Dion, if you wear that what? at Pride, you're gonna get all the buzzies. I don't know what you're talking about. You were on about something. Oh honey, you know what I'm talking about. I was just thinking oh my like God. it's pride and we are not Things there. It's just changed. It's so rude. I know. It's well so we can rude. still make it there. <laughs> and welcome to <laughs> So, so rude. I'm here with Sebargo. And I'm here with Diongo Yorkie. Oh my god, happy Pride Month, every happy gorgeous Pride. person out there well, in this it's world. Pride weekend. It's Pride Day every day. I'm trying to like crouch so you can see the hat because they can see it. Hand. We're Yeah, they can see it. We're using a, a, a kind of like a a makeshift tripod today. We had a little tripod. Tripophobia. Yeah, ooh, you hate tripophobia. It's tripophobia that you're scared of tripods or holes. Like, that's weird, no? It should be, like, it should, holophobia. They should clarify. Yeah. 100%. Anyway. So, besides that. So, yesterday. How is one supposed to wear a cowboy hat for everyone watching? I think, like, that you're wearing it. No, I mean, like, in a chair. In a gaming chair? Look. Oh, yeah, I don't I think, think. Yeah, I don't yeah think right. Well, because in a chair, I think you're, like. Yeah, you're, like, okay. Well, this is going to slowly get revealed. Ooh. The, the shade. So, if you want to see my eyes. Go through that paywall over to our patreon.com slash spastium where you can get full podcast episodes. We're on season two. I think episode this is episode eight. 50. Of season so two. So let's just do a huge celebration right now for episode, episode 50. 50. That's cheers. really cool. Wow. Well, congrats. So cheers to, f- wow, 50 episodes. How do you feel Ow. after 50 episodes of this glorious experience? That is so rude. Accomplished. Mm. What about you? Um, gratitude, honestly. Gratitude. I, I think looking back at all the episodes, I, I thoroughly enjoy them and I, I enjoy sitting here with you every week. We love to see it. Yeah, love to see it. Uh, um, so, so yesterday, let's just let's dive get into, into it. Edward We're going to touch all the things. We have but a lot of things yesterday, to touch we usual. were like, oh, it's the first day of Pride weekend. Let's do a little party. So, at first, we're going to do the party bus, but then we canceled it because the inflation, it was like extremely yeah. expensive. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's good. And then we were like, okay, we ended up doing our party at our friend's place. And then it was so fun. We were doing games and everything. And they have this cute little dog that I love. Oh, okay. I was like, where are you going with this? What's happening? Well, the event that <laughs> happened last night. Yes. Uh, uh, we I do attract like, these events. Yeah, we attract. Like, there's something about our reason. aura. There's something about our aura that... I don't know what it really is. We have to we have to look into it like with uh, some kind of like Walter Mercado. Yeah, well, because I think it's like <laughs> which funny. we also brought up last night. Sorry, I'm trying to. It's like funny story. Like it's like I feel like it's we always make it a funny story. Our, our after the attack. Exactly. We have a very good a uh, good what's the word attitude towards the situation. Yes, our friend got happen. attacked essentially. <laughs> <laughs> no, so- uh, as you know, recap before we get into it, like episode one and two recap. I've been attacked by cats, dogs. Seb's been attacked by cats. Plenty times. And it just happens. So now, like cut to more last night. times than a regular person would say. And what we always say is it happens out of nowhere. Yeah. So soon, so quick. And yeah, so it fast. likes really fast. So like our friend's dog, Which she's what a makes sweetheart. It so funny. But she always needs to, like, get introduced to the people that go into the apartment beforehand. Because she's, like, a deaf dog. Like, she's deaf. And she, I think, she probably went she through something. From, like, she, yeah, a place where, you know, when she was a puppy, she wasn't treated very well. So, you know. Because like, our friend adopted her. She's doing so great. And she just needs to know a scent of someone before they go in the house. Which, you know, it's kind of like how cats are. Yeah, like, it makes sense. Which is, like, yeah, we should, we should probably do that with Latte every time before someone comes over, like, meet uh-huh. Latte outside. Like, Latte, we've had, like, puppies the other day walk right in and Latte's just so, so chill. She's just like, okay. She's so fine with dogs and she's fine with she's just not male good. cats. Not exactly female cats. Or gays. Or, <laughs> or gays or anyone gays. with a with, with a 42 gays. hertz screech. She hates Nick. I don't know why. Hertz. I don't know why Latte hates Nick. Like she pounced on him. Um, but, but see, another time. gay screech. Another time that sh- But we, we love the gay screech because happy prom! Moving the microphone away, sorry, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so 
we've, we're like partying, we're doing little games. It was really cute. Before we're we like, say anything too much, Seb really got it together. As we did in New Year's, we did a little game where you line these candles up and you have to blow the candles and blow, see how many you baby, can blow, blow out. And they're like further away from you. Seb brought that game back. Seb had a pride, a pride gnome. The pride gnome. So Slaytina, that was like Slaytina. That I ended up bringing her home because I feel like it wasn't okay. Well, let's finish the story. Let's finish the story, but it's like so, Tina wasn't appreciated by most. No, I no, did. she was, but I was like, she, we can't give her away without finalizing the games. You know, like Seb just put a lot of work into really painting Slaytina. <laughs> it was a gnome from the dollar store, and Seb painted it rainbow and painted its nails purple. And Lavender the car. Hayes realness, and I don't blame you for keeping her. Thank you. No, so we're doing the games, and then our friend Taylor is like, Oh, I just got here. I'm downstairs. So they're in the middle of a game. So I go, Hey, everyone, I'm going to get Taylor. I'll be right back. Uh huh. So Dion was like, Oh, I'll come with you. So we go downstairs, we get him from the lobby, and then we come upstairs and we go into the apartments. And then you and I were like distracted for a second because we just yeah, started we just making taking out. Taking our shoes off, making out. We were like, oh, I love you, baby, hugging. Feeling the and then Taylor just walks into the apartment and like everyone forgot about the like process that needs to happen before there's a stranger coming, like the dog meeting and everything. Because we were just also in the moment. Well, yeah, you know, everyone's partying. I think and then time. we and just walk back into the main room and shit goes wild. Literally, okay, so immediately like. Our friend is laying down with her dog and our other friend who just got in walks up to them and goes to pet the dog. And there's a little, ah, you know, like, like just to like I a, didn't see that. like a warning sign, I guess that the dog was giving like, okay, who is this new person? So I, I didn't even see really this happening too much either, but now looking back at it, they walk into the room with the dog. So now the dog is separated from, so there was like a little like ah. the person, um, which is fine. I guess we all kind of forgot about it for a few minutes. So we're like, no? oh, and then like, Taylor was like, oh my gosh, she almost bit me. Ha ha. Oh yeah. Like, oh, happy goodness birthday. Because it was his birthday. So we're like, happy birthday. Oh. And so many like crazy things have already happened on his birthday. So that was great. And then like um, five to throw seconds into the mix. later. I walk, I walk towards the bedroom to see if the dog's okay. But more so like I was back, I was really far away from the door to the bedroom. So I was just walking to like the living room and I was like glancing in to see my friend and being like, everything good in there. Uh, and as I did that, I locked eyes with the dog who was sitting in its cage with the cage door, unfortunately open. And it's, its face just transformed into from this really cute dog into a very angry dog very fast. Which is so scary, like when animals do that, like even like lots yeah, or like, something, like when she know. gets mad it's and when you're this like, raises the snow. Yeah, and you're like, oh shit, oh. bitch. I didn't know you had that. And you're like, when Mocha goes, <laughs> like for a toy or something, I'm like, Mocha, relax. <laughs> and within seconds, she was up in the air. So I was like, it all running so fast behind the owner of the dog. Like the dog comes and in. Shielding and- myself. <laughs> And then the dog was like, well, if I can't get this crispy gay, I'm going to find another one in the mix. <laughs> and then the dog comes running towards the kitchen. Then the owner behind. Then Dion behind. I'm like, what is yeah, going like, on? And I was I just hiding for life because I've been go, attacked too many times. From animals. It was not my day. And she bites our friend Taylor on the leg like, Arr! and we're like, ah! <laughs> Like, ah, there's like glass falling, like a glass. Immediately, as the dog's biting and him, a like, glass shot. Ah, that like, was ah. the dramatic part. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I've been bit. I've been bit. Like, ah. <laughs> and we're like, watch out this glass and move the dog. And we're like, because like, oh Dion and I have trauma with his bites that we oh, didn't yeah, clean I was, them properly. I was on team get my buddy out of there. I'm not being collateral this time. Yeah, no, like the first times that Dion got bit, we didn't get antibiotics or anything. So, like, you got like it was looking infected, so we were like, "You infected. have to disinfect it right now. You have to put pause for it." And Taylor was like, "Oh no, I'm fine." And we're like, "Get into the bathroom right now!" And I just grabbed the soap and I go, "Cha cha 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 cha." <laughs> You were like, grab the post porn. You know, post porn. I'm like, yeah, I got band aids as well. Because I was also like a little uh, bit tipsy too. I carry so I feel with like me these days. Yeah, that was very hot, Dion. Dion was like, <laughs> it's in my bag, and I'm like, Paul is porn. And then you're like, band aids too. I was like, shit, bitch. I she learned ready from my it. lessons. I'm a clumsy bitch. So that was like the little like happy, burn on my hand. Cheers. That was a little happy start to the Pride Weekend. And another happy start. Cheers. That's why I was cheersing you once more. It's because we 
are celebrating our Netflix debut. Oh, our net, yeah, we're celebrating that night. Our Netflix debut, one of our shows that we did last year. The show we were working year. on, yeah, last year. Um, this show has now dropped called Glamorous on Netflix. So if you want to see us, we're in episodes. Do you want me to say the episodes we're in or let? Uh, go find go, it. Go enjoy it. I, I mean, think... it's like got so much queer representation. This show is definitely like, you know, more of what we need. Uh, of course, there's a writer's strike right now. So We're in hopefully episode we can 10. get through that writer's strike first. We're in episode 10 and 8. No, not 8. 5 and 2, I think. We're in episode 2. We're in episode 5 and episode 10. So go find us. Take photos, screenshots, believe. post it, tag us, and then say, Oh my God, y'all should cast them as main characters next season or something i think honestly i think very much i think that you should all do that and you should just be very kind about it and say hi the the um couple that was featured in season one yeah you should really you should really bring them back because we were already cast for white lotus season four not season three season four exactly so we want to make sure it works into our schedule you know yeah we have a busy fantasy and that fantasy is like filling up quick so uh, speaking of the fantasy filling up quick, I finished the album. Oh. Like, it's not done. See, done. so we were Listen, celebrating a lot of things yes. last night. I won't get into the details, the boring details, but at the end of the day, like, I have I have 13 songs almost ready for y'all. And I'm 13. So, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, and that's all I'm going to say for now, but Seb and I are definitely going to be doing. Some Stay cheeky things to do with that soon. Physical. And so what everyone has been yeah. talking about lately was that Ocean Gate. Ocean. Oh <laughs> my God! Did we not talk about this already? It feels like it's that, that feels like it was a, a week ago, and it was it yesterday, was like three days ago. Crazy. So in case you live under well, a rock, we're not gonna update you too much because there's no way you don't know about it. No, yeah, like in case you live under facts a are rock, facts and that's a fact. There was a stupid ass billionaires that sorry, rest in peace, but like. This is okay, all right, alleged that's... of what has occurred. But we're not saying any... What? Like, I'm saying allegedly uh, stream hoax by Taylor Swift. Allegedly stream there's something going on. Stream where is the submarine? <laughs> Are you not updated? They found the parts. They imploded. Yeah, I am updated on that. But remember, we were at the party last night. We are at a little gathering last night. And everyone around the table started talking about how it's a hoax. And these billionaires just ran off to some island. Oh, yeah. Well, some people were saying that. They were like, That's oh, what I, was going I for. think the billionaires just wanted to disappear. And they were like, okay, I'll pay $250,000. And then I'll just like disappear or something. Cause, Seems a little public for but that. But then it's like, why would they disappear? And then there was also like the younger guy. Why would they take him? Yeah. I'm sure. That wasn't the plan. But then it's like, also Alleged. apparently they found, Alleged. so they just, found, you know, real conspiracy stuff. They found all the little debris of the submarine mm. and then they found the remotes intact. So, it's like, that was the only thing that survived the, the remote, which is like, so you're okay. you're telling me the $30 Amazon remote can survive yeah, the ocean and pressure? Yeah, an implosion. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Weren't we, touch- weren't we just looking at it yesterday and they were saying how molecules will be molecules? Like, whatever was in there got crushed. Like, whoosh, so it went boom. So, and the what? The controller decided to play mini games? Uh, yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? That doesn't make sense. Because, like, what would the remote Scientists, be intact? please do comment below. What is the answer? Because they say everything got squished. Well, because I guess the remote doesn't have any water inside or anything. Uh-huh. I, okay. Like, it could make sense. Okay. Maybe it's made of titanium. What doesn't make sense is why someone would pay $250,000 to go in a submarine. That's why it's like, it's giving distraction tactics intellectually. And also, allegedly. It's like intellectually. How, like, so many ships sank with, like, refugees. And so. And, like, so many people died, but no, like, nobody so went to coverage. help them. So little. So little anything about Yeah, but then there was like billionaires and they're like, oh, send the police, sell, send the barbs, send the Swifties. Like, it's like, girl, shut up. They chose to do it. Oh. Rest in peace, but it's true. It was one of those stories where when I heard it, I thought to myself, how did this random submarine story become so like a part of my life? Yeah, it was pushed down my throat. Yeah. I think, like, the only person I feel bad about is the son that was, like, 19, that apparently he was, like, forced to go. Well, yeah, like, happy Father's Day, JK. Like, 
go to the club and find a daddy instead. Yeah. No, and it's like, yeah, don't go in a submarine. And I do not want to be paddling with those fish. And it's what we were saying, what we were saying in that other episode, respect the ocean. That was not respecting the ocean. And that's not respecting the people that died in the Titanic. Because I feel like, yeah, like when people go see like all these like places where there was like, like so many like tragedies, Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like haunted Mm -hmm. because so many people have died there. So it's definitely like messes your or something. And it's like putting you in a place that you don't want to be. And no. You don't, you don't want to, like, how do you say this? You don't want to swim when you don't want to swim. Simply put. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> but did you see that Cardi B had beef with a stepson um, of one of the billionaires? I do believe that I was also beside him at the 182 concert. Blink-182 concert. Yep. I was beside him, and he was having a good time, and he poured several Grey Goose down my throat, allegedly. Oh, really? Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Ugh. Uh, but he seemed very much like, guess who's in the will, you know? No, but yeah, that's like, well, like, I don't know if he's in the will, because he said that he only has $100 to his name. That's what he said. And then he was like, I can't then, go like, on a, I can't go on allegedly. a, he said, I can't, I'm on the no-fly list. I wonder why. Mm-hmm. Well, he was definitely on the mile high list when I checked after the after mile the high. Because <laughs> private jets be private jets, allegedly. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, you said Grey Goose and I wanted to puke. Uh, physically I was, and I drank emotionally. vodka for the first time yesterday. And it's not the vibe. It doesn't hit as good as tequila. I'm sorry. Seb's so funny because he says he drank that for the first time yesterday. But do you not remember the giant Grey Goose bottle that was pouring down your throat last weekend at the pool party? Yeah, and I hated it because before that I was drinking tequila too. Like I didn't. Like <laughs> I'm saying, like I only had that one shot of Grey Goose that one like last week, mm-hmm. and I was like, Ugh. but this like last yesterday I had like two drinks that were vodka, and I was like. It's physically like, yeah, it's like, you know, what? it's like jumping in a cold, if you jump in like a freezing cold bathtub, you know how it feels like a bunch of like knife stabbing? It's like that on the inside. It's like drinking like cologne, like because tequila is like, okay, this is drinkable. <laughs> Vodka is like drinking Drink like... some Abercrombie. Yeah. Fierce. Oh, no, honey, not I for me. I'm, uh, but the only reason that it, I've noticed in my journey lately of being like, oh, I don't, I don't need to drink as much. Um... It's tempting when that giant Grey Goose bottle has the silver tip. You know, you know that nice little Because you're a money whore. You're like, what? Ooh. No, it's not about money. It's You know that silver tip at the end that was on the bottle? Do you remember? No. It's basically just the thing that they put at the end to pour it into your, into the bottles. Into but your like, mouth. <laughs> but like when it's a big Grey Goose bottle, like a Texas-sized Mickey, and it's got that silver tip at the end, and you see the beautiful ice-cold vodka pouring out of it, you're like, wow, that really does get you in the mood. It, it's like pour it in my mouth because it looks refreshing. Oh. And then in what the second it hits the back of your throat, you realize this it's is a not a bad summertime idea. swim pool. It and was I'm not a feeling bad refreshed. Idea. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I was bit, I was bitter about it every time. Every time I do. But I'm not bitter when I take a Sambuca shot. A Yaku uh, shot. I do like those. Oh no. Okay. I can only you do can tequila. Only drink one alcohol for the rest of your life, which is it? Tequila. Okay, you can only have one the rest of your life, which is a sh- candy or sweets. Like, sorry, chocolates or other types of candy. Is it like, can I, so I can't have any type of candy unless it's chocolate. Or. I think other types of candy. Yeah. I agree. Because it's like all the candy in Mexico doesn't even have chocolate because it's so good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I could give up chocolate, but I, I, I think like. To think I'd never have a starburst again, that's kind of sad. Yeah. Maybe one day I want a starburst. Yeah. Because chocolate is good, I feel. But then, like, after you have, like, the first bite, you're like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Like, I'm, like, full. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, does anyone actually just order, like, oh, can I get a ball of chocolate ice cream? No. Because it's like, I do. you do? Well, when I get that double chocolate fudge with the Oh, with yeah, the but that's not just brownies. Chocolate. Well, that's like and extra the extra chocolate. chocolate. It's all the chocolate. <laughs> but yeah, like that's like excusable. I feel like because it's just just chocolate ice yeah, cream. It's I was like, ice cream. It's so filling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like a little. What about a little chocolate? Like a mint chocolate. 
I hate mint I chocolate. I just wanted to say, uh, your despise for mint chocolate is pretty dedicated because I think most things I like really passionately hated when we first started dating, food wise, you've kind of got me out of. Well, a lot yeah, because you had weird ones. You're like, I'll only get one tomato on my sub. I'm like, that was a why choice. that. On a sub. Hearing you say that makes me seriously be like, who was I? Because on a sub. Who did, who did she think she was? Well, you were from a small town. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it shows. But we've seen from small town, something that's like hard to let go of habits. Jeez, no, you like, had like a big ass sub. One and only, tomato. Like, one tomato. She's I was lonely. Like, that makes no sense because then you're just going to like, <laughs> no tomato, no tomato, no tomato. Have that bite with a tomato and then it's gone. It's like. She's lonely and she's so <laughs> sad. No, because Trey, like, what the fuck? Now I'm like, if you don't put extra tomatoes, I'm offended. Yeah. <laughs> How times have changed. Because I feel like, yeah, you were more of a picky eater before. Well, I guess I didn't know about inflation before either. Now it's like, load it up. You know? <laughs> like, I'm paying I'm paying $5 for guacamole. Load that load up. Load it up. And I currently found a burrito place that um, gives you free guacamole if you don't get the cheese, which... Chipotle doesn't do it. It pisses me yeah, off. Yeah, they should do that. It pisses me off. I'm like, I am literally not getting meat or cheese. I didn't even get your salsa or your cilantro. And you can't give me some free guac. I'm offended. It kind of hurt. Uh, free. Fan, dude. Hashtag free guac for Pride Month. Make it a thing, people. Free white for print. Free, free guac. Free guac for, for Pride, Pride Month. Um, you look very sexy. You look very sexy. Oh yeah, I was saying the other to the other day to Dion how I feel like when he got those tattoos on his chest, this it was kind of like a spell or something. I thought about that for creativity because I was that. like, because you have like those little hands pointing into that third eye. Okay. And then you've been creating like magic in the studio. Uh, I think it worked out. <laughs> I think it worked. Also, we were at the gym the other day, and this random ass guy walks by with sweatpants, and Dion goes, Seb, you should write a song called, It Only Takes a Pair of Gray Sweatpants. No, you should write a song called, It Only Takes a Pair of Gray Sweats. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> I know, I'm really good at making music. Uh, but no, but... Somebody hire me to write music for you. Like, if it's like, what is one, like, article of clothing that I'll, you always go like, Ooh, that looks hot. An article of clothing that I look at and I'm like, I want that on my body? No, that you go like, oh, he looks hot. Okay, like that okay, makes gotcha. you like, that you, you're you walking down the street and you see someone wearing that and you're like, oh, I have to take a look. Hmm, I see what you're saying. I think the answer is it has to be like the casual, like, like a very, a person who looks like they showered that morning. Like, out of the corner of my eye, it looks like they're fresh. And then mixed with that, like, effortless casual, either sweatpant or, like, five-inch seam short. Oh, so you're looking at other guys. Okay. Who said Who said guys? Who said anything about... This is done. Who said anything about... I'm kidding. Who said anything <laughs> about gender? Oh, so you're looking at other people. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're not. No. Do you, do you want to say that to the lie detector test now, sir? Yeah. Let's put our finger on the paw. I'm no. kidding. The, no. The, the, yeah, I feel like the, the five... On, put the finger... Okay, ready? Question number one. Seb, yes or no? Did you check out anybody in the last week besides me? No. The lie detector <laughs> test has determined that is a lie. No, but I tell you when I check someone out. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah, look. Why, what? Is there something for you? Because like you said no, articles yeah, of clothing, think... which is weird, because I feel like... Your go-to is a bicep. Seb loves a bicep. Oh, and here, well, a bicep in real life, because most guys aren't walking around shirtless, but on, on the lines, on, on any social media, it's the abs for you. It's the abs for him, folks. Am I wrong? What about it? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, well, like... What about no, it? No, like, literally everyone, every guy that I go, oh, he's out on online... They always look like Dion. I don't know who that is, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow, my doppelganger. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, I don't think it's no, but that yeah, hard to have I this feel like the five inch and weird. seems shorts Maybe. are always like sports. Yes. Make you like way more attractive. You think what? Five like short shorts mm. always make someone way more attractive. You're like, oh wait. 
Is it the thighs? What is it? Yeah, it's like the same thing as when you see like someone on a runway or something. Like when they have like those like pieces of the skin just showing the right way, it makes it so dynamic. A little, a little flirty yeah. thigh it, it gives, makes it dynamic. It gives that silhouette. Yeah. Um, and it's it's um, not something I, I'm complaining about because seeing you in the gym wearing your five inch seams is. Oh, well, I, can I just say I saw like four guys staring at your ass today. What? And you didn't tell me? What do you want me to do? Go up to you and be like, yeah. people are checking you out. Yeah. Well, obviously, some people are going to check you oh, out. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Anytime. Um, but yeah, on anything, but other yeah. news. In other news, we are. So. Fiercely. Apparently, Shawn Mendes is in Toronto right now. And I'm like, we're, how we're do you feel feud. about this? We're in a Shawn feud. How do you feel? Well, like, it's well, not a feud, you... but how do you feel about this? So there was, like, plenty of videos of him, like, walking around in Toronto. And then, like, people, like, he's just walking down the street or something. And then, people, like, someone goes up and like, oh, hi, Shawn. I love you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, can I take a photo with you? And he's like, no, right now. And just yeah. keeps walking. Yeah. I've how do you hearing... feel? I don't feel. I... I understand. You understand. I think um, not understanding all the time, though. If I was in Sean's position, like, I think every person respects, deserves, sorry, their privacy, obviously. Privacy. I think that if you're in the public eye and you see, like, three people who want a quick selfie and you know you have a quick getaway before the line gets to 2,000 people asking for a photo of you in the street, which can be dangerous for everyone involved, yeah, I think snap a quick pic. Like, that can be kind of, like... Maybe you caught them in a bad day. What we're hearing, though, we're on the street. Is, this yeah. Is, this, is, this is a every time thing. Yeah, streets are saying it's an every time occurrence. And that to it's... me, it's like, then why, why did you want to be an entertainer? Because a part of that is making people smile. And if you have the opportunity and you're and not busy like, to, to snap a pic, then do it. Yeah, because streets also say, like, he's, like, very, like, fast, like, what's called, like, dry. Dry. Like, not like, even, like, engaged. Like, Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's like, because if somebody's like saying, oh my God, I love your art, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'd be like, oh my God, blah, what, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, he's like, okay, bye. Right. I don't know. Well, I, f- I feel like it. I don't know. Like, I get the whole. Context matters. Cause yeah. Because like, it could be a bad day. Yeah. And like, also, these people can get swarmed by way too many people. And then it's like, what do you expect them to do? Like, climb on the roof and fly out of yeah. the helicopter? Like, how are they going to get out? How are they going to get home? I get it. But I mean, like, we had, like, Taylor during 1989 era walking around downtown New York and taking photos. I don't think that would ever happen now. Yeah, but it's like, you're not Taylor. I guess what we have to fix I, is I have him out. Uh, there's, like, context, an open sure. invite to have him on the podcast and clear these exactly. allegations. Because we're all here to support. Yeah. And it's, it's not, like I just said, like, <laughs> like we're hugely, like, nobody's entitled to anybody's time. Yeah, honestly. or, like, a photo. Like, just because someone is an entertainer, you're not entitled to their time. But I do think, like, as a person, if the, opportunity, if the opportunity presents itself to just, like, make someone's day, and you can, and you're like, no, like, I have a rule where I literally never do that, then it's like, well, yeah, you're kind of closing it's yourself like off to Someone is, like, it's, like, they're, they're, they're his biggest fans. They're, like, yeah. <gasps> For you 10 years. That. And then he's like, no, nah, right no. now. Sorry. And then it's like, oh, Gotta then get my when? Bagel. Yeah, he's like, oh, buy the 700 meet and greet. That's how. Like, no. Well, if he's going around saying buy the meet and greet. No, he doesn't say that. <laughs> I'm like, like streets another... are saying that's... that he is telling these people buy the $700 <laughs> meet and greet. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Let me get my hat on. I can't believe Shawn Mendes did that. Seven hundred. Wait, wait. And that's a thumbnail. And that's a click. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, we love Sean. I get it. Yeah, because it's like I also would hate like just having people come up and not even say hi. And be like, can I take a photo? Because it's like, what's the point of taking the photo if you're not like? I feel like the photo is more like oh yeah. That's why for me it's context. Like, yeah, yeah, you see someone context, very like oh this person's day. sweet. They I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a photo with them. If someone's like, hey, bam bam, photo photo photo. It's like I'm gonna grab your phone and pull a bad bunny. Yeah, and that was so funny when he did that. Oh my god, yeah. I feel like if yeah. You don't know bad just bunny is like an artist who grabbed a phone 
as so Isaiah really was trying to take a selfie, being kind of rude and in his face, and grabbed that phone and whipped it across the street, and it is so iconic. Whipped it across. Because you do have to know your own power sometimes. It's, yeah. It is about, like, what's the situation? Yeah, it's like if someone's putting a phone in your face and they're not letting you do anything yet, you're like, move. No. 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 Where did you hear? Where do you hear these things about, like, this person rejecting every single person for a photo like is this a Dumois moment Shawn Mendes yeah. well like I've seen like not just what, not what, just what that, is like, the source you have the, like my sources messaged and they did say they'd rather stay anonymous okay so that's, that's all I can say I'm of, getting kind no. of fair I suppose <laughs> no my sources are Dumois has posted that a lot of times but also like a lot of people on TikTok they go like or it, Twitter and everything like it's like a lot of people. Even when like Shamanis was dating Camila Cabello, and they'd so be like, funny. some they'd be like eating Not lunch funny, somewhere or yeah. something, and then people would come and they would say that Camila was really rude, and that Sean would be like kind of like dismissive too. But like it's like a lot of people have said that, and I'm like I don't know if it's true or not. Now like because I've seen it so many times online, I'm always like scared if Can I saw that? if I saw him in Toronto, I, I'm like I'm not gonna go up and he's gonna punch me in the face. <laughs> Seb's I'm scared. Like, streets are saying that you're gonna you, punch me in the face. You heard it here first. Seb that walks around scary. every day trembling at the thought of running into Shawn Mendes <laughs> yes. and not knowing what to do. No, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I would be like, I would grab my purse tightly and say, "Stay away from me, dangerous man." And then I would maybe slide my address yeah. under the table. Let me know, dangerous man. Where can I? Pay for my misbehaviors. No, because it's like no, yeah, like. Oh, wow, this has been a very so. Rude things got episode. rude. Things got real, and the streets are always streeting him. For spending your Find us in the us. streets. We shall be back next week. Please have a safe and happy Pride Month, and just shout out. Chase your dreams this summer, everybody. You deserve it. Shout out to the demonetized BSC. Right here, right here, right now, right now. Shout out to our rainbow. Pride Month, Clown Besties, and the Sebastian Collector. Tars, 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 Maddie. Love you all. If you're listening this, if you're listening on any streaming platform, make sure you rate it, like, rate, share, and review. Review, Mama. Subscribe. You know you want to, and just share it with everyone you know, Han. And truly. The, the full best. episodes are on patreon.com slash Sebastian and we love you all. Stay and we'll rude. see you later. Bye. Bye.